Hey everybody, Steve Chase here, and this video I'm going to share with you is all about scheduling payments to vendors inside of QuickBooks Online. I'm really excited to share this with you because this is helping out a lot of people that work with QuickBooks Online on a daily basis and are just looking for an alternative method to pay people. Um, it's just a great alternative using Venmo and Cash App and Zelle. And what's great about using Melio inside QuickBooks Online is that you have real-time books. The moment you schedule the payment, it is in your books and it's ready to go. And so it's just a matter of just giving you more opportunities and flexibility with um, learning how to use Melio and QuickBooks Online. So let's begin. And the first thing I want to share with you is that in order to make this happen, you have to have a Melio payments account. And so log in, into, if you were to type melio.com, it's going to take you to meliopayments.com. This is the official uh, logo here, Melio. And you might just see the IO right there. And it's um, a simple, as it says, the simplest way to pay vendors and contractors. And you have um, the inter integrations with your accounting software makes it a very powerful, powerful tool. A lot of people are excited because it's free to pay uh, a vendor using QuickBooks Online. Now, you have to have QuickBooks Online Essentials Plus or Advanced to make this happen. You cannot do this with QuickBooks Simple Start, unfortunately. And the reason for that is you have to create a bill using QuickBooks Online. And the Simple Start does not have that feature available. It's not a it's impossible to create a bill. Um, you have to have a payable, accounts payable in QuickBooks Online for this work. The other requirement is you cannot uh, simultaneously have a bill.com account that's mapped as an app to QuickBooks Online. So you'd have to uh, disconnect your bill.com, payments by bill.com, first before the Milio will allow this to work. Okay. So that might be a scenario where you have a bill.com account and you have to disconnect and cancel your service from that. Melio is free for ACH direct deposits, um, and it can take three three business days, maybe up to four business days if there's any security issues on it. They will also mail a check, print a check for you, mail it, postage it for free. So if you wanted to send a physical paper check, you can do that. And you can also pay 2.9% if you want to run up your credit card charge. And so that's the expensive purchase. And I guess that's how they're being able to pay for these free serv free services, right? It's not free, but it is free. So at this time right now. Uh, I wanted to say that uh, in order to to do this effectively, you have to link up your bank account, assuming you want to pay the ACH uh, method or the check method for free. Uh, the other option is when you create your first bill and you're going to pay somebody and you haven't yet gotten their ACH banking information, there is an option to have the vendor supply their preferred method. So that's awesome because maybe they want to do ACH, they can enter in their banking account information. Maybe they want a paper check, so they can choose to select to go with the paper check method. When you're in your Melio account, you're going to have options to see on the settings, and the settings will allow you to do your passwords. Most folks with QuickBooks Online will just use their same Intuit login to link together. Um, company settings, you can have collaborators in the event that you want to have a threshold where a bill has to get approved by a manager before it can get paid. There's different types of email notification as well. And then there's an accounting software sync here as well. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into a demo and see how this works. All right, I'm in my QuickBooks demo account. First thing we do is go to vendors. And if this is the first vendor in the system, you'll click New Vendor. And we can type in the name of the company. So we'll just say, that, let's imagine this is uh, Alpha Omega LLC. Now, 
pay attention here. If, if this was an actual contractor, sole, uh, sole proprietor, we would track payments here, um, assuming that we're going to have a check or ACH payments going out there, put in our business ID and all that. But for, for this purpose right now, I'm just going to save it as Alpha Omega LLC and hit save. Oh, I already have a Alpha Omega LLC. So, all right, let me go look that up. Here we go. Awesome. Okay. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to create a bill, new transaction bill. And let's just say legal and professional fees. Professional fees, we can say something like February services. And let's do $10, okay? So when you hit save the very first time, um, we would see that we have this pay any vendor here. Now, I would also pay attention to if we got an invoice from this vendor, it would be important that you put the invoice number right here where it says build number. So imagine it's 1001 is the bill number. That way, when we pay the bill, we can reference that in the, the memo that we're paying invoice 1001. Uh, also, you can come down here and attach anything else you want to that. But this is where we're, we're talking about right here, right here, brand new. Pay any vendor with a bank transfer or debit card for free or use your credit card to defer payments and earn credit card rewards 2.9% fee. So um, definitely mathematically it makes sense to go with the free option here. So you can either click schedule online payment up at the top or down at the bottom, you're going to have this, this option here, save and schedule payment. That's the same thing. Okay. So if I click here or here, it will load the bill pay. So if this is their first time using Melio, the moment you get through this bill payment, it automatically gets you a connection to your Melio account. You're going to have a Melio account here. So it needs to know how we would like to pay this right off the bat. So, and by the way, if, if I was only putting a 50% deposit down, I can come up here and let's say I want to only pay half of the invoice. I can come up here and change it to $5 and that will do a partial payment on that invoice. All right, so I'm going to select bank account. And then this is just for your first time. You have to tell Melio who is your bank account with. And you can have one or more bank accounts that you'd like to have and toggle back and forth. Best practice to keep it simple, just have one bank account, like your operating account to pay for it. So you either have the option to connect using your profile account settings with, with Plaid. And so if you go down this path here, connect instantly, use Plaid um, to continue. That would be an, one option. The other option would be to select manually, put in your account number, routing number, account number, wait one or two days to get two micro deposits. Once you get those micro deposits into the bank account, you'll get an email from Melio saying verify your bank account. Open up the email, click the, the verify deposits, type in the two bank deposits, and then your account is authorized and approved for that payment for that bill, plus all your future ones going forward here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log into my other QuickBooks account and follow along the process to show you what it's like on the tail end of things trying to pay a vendor all right, here we are. We're going to look at when I'd like to have this payment scheduled. So you can see that I can select any uh, calendar day here and it will give me the opportunity to see where it's going to come through. Okay. So once I select the date, it gives me the estimated date. Paper checks can take five to seven business days. From here, I would click continue. 
it's asking about do, the memo. So if you created a bill in QuickBooks Online, it's going to use that bill number to populate. That's fine to leave it as is, or you could go in and change up to whatever you'd like. Okay, at this point here, we see the amount, um, how the vendor is going to see it. If the vendor, if we wanted the vendor, to, uh, we could ask the, the vendor uh, for delivery details here, and this would send it out to them. Okay. And from here, it's just a matter of confirm and schedule payment. So you should go to meliopayments.com for more information about Melio. This is where you can see the latest improvements and updates. Um, this is software that's in the cloud. So the video that I just shared with you might look different in a couple of years from now. So go to meliopayments.com. Uh, when you're there, check out the resources page. Got a help center, blog, customer stories. When you get there, you can kind of browse to see how to get started here. Um, it's also important that you can fully log in uh, to MelioPayments.com and you can actually authorize payments from within the Melio dashboard. So if there's a scenario where QuickBooks Online uh, is not available and you don't want to make the payment inside QuickBooks Online, you can go inside Melio, create the bill payment from there, and it is a two-way sync. There is an option in Melio dashboard that allows you to sync and updates uh, both the accounting software that you're working with and Melio, so that's a, that's a great option there as well. You can also get into Melio as well and initiate uh, the vendor email that asks the vendor to provide their banking information or if they prefer to get the paper check in the mail as well. So that can be done as well. Um, there is support in the lower right hand corner that you can reach out to uh, the Melio uh, support team as well. And I uh, just want to say thanks for watching and I hope uh, that this help this video is helpful for you. Thanks.